Hey, what's up people? Funnel here again, showing you some more stuff. In my last video, I showed you how to uh, slice up a drum rake into the Ableton drum rack. And we took a really quick look at how these controls here work. So uh, just to repeat, we, we had a break and... Uh, We saw that these knobs here can do some pretty nice things after you have chopped up a drum break. But in this video I want to show you how to create a custom, a customized slicing preset. And we're gonna start by loading a, an empty drum rack onto a new channel. And onto the drum rack we're gonna place an empty sampler. So here we are double click on the sampler to open up the sample view and um, basically it's here that you do the mapping uh, in advance the mapping to these knobs to uh, be able to to control all the functions that you want to have after you can um, chop up your drum break so for example if I want to have a well everybody wants to have a filter there right so let's I just turn on the filter first so then I enter map mode I click on the frequency I map it on this knob here and I turn it up so it'll be useful once I've chopped up the break what else I wanna have I wanna have a uh, reverse control so just for the heck of it let's put it here and um, sample attack let's put it here and um, what else? Let's go for sustain. You can you can map anything. All the things here that appear green once you enter map mode are what you can uh, map on on these knobs. So once you have set it up in in a way that you would like to have it after you have chopped up the break, you go to Ableton Library. Uh, let me um, get my bookmark here. I'll go here and um, I've got my library here you go to defaults and slicing and um, you just simply you just drag the uh, the whole the whole chain there the whole rack sorry so then you just give it a name so I'll just say let's call it awesomeness so now you have now you have it there, and um, let's delete this. And here we have an aim and that we want to chop up. So let's right click, and um, let's go for the. Uh, no, sorry, I gotta bring bring the uh, audio because that's MIDI. So let me look it up real quick. Here I have the classic. Classic Amen. It goes there. Let's delete everything else. So now we have an Amen. Everything looks pretty okay here, just like we um, took a look at this in my last video. Go here, slice the new MIDI track, and now here you have um, Awesomeness. It's the last one on the list. So go for Awesomeness. We're gonna slice by transients. That's what we took a look at in the last video. Hit OK. You'll get a new MIDI track and uh, just hit play okay this is interesting because the sustain is set, set so short okay it sounds better now and uh, let's see let's see reverse yeah it works attack yeah attack gets shorter filter Alright, so that's how you do a customized slicing preset.